Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Benjamin Magnus Plays Hearts of Iron 4 Kaiser Reich. We left off last episode as the German Empire plummeting into the Great Depression following Black Monday. Uh, we have recalled all German squadrons across the world to reduce the cost of maintaining such a large worldwide empire. I'm just that's that's the uh, the narrative I'm going with. But anyhow, we are playing. We are at negative 344 uh, doodles. Let's see, we still have average stability. Um, hmm. So I think this is what we're on because it's highlighted. And none of these have hit yet. So I'm not really sure what's going on. But we're working on Imperial restructuring. Oh god, the Fifth Anglo-Afghani War. After the Veldkrieg, as the British Raj collapsed into turmoil and, well and warfare. I said welfare. The neighboring kingdom of Afghanistan took advantage of this as an opportunity to seize uh, Peshawar and Quetta, both border regions of the Dominion. However, the Afghani government attempts to uh, modernize over the last decade have been met with fierce resistance from the conservative elements within the country. King um, Alaman, uh, um, um, Aman Aluhuha Khan... Yes, I know, that's pretty funny. Uh, now hopes to use the turmoil in Delhi following the death of King George V to his advantage. But well, I keep saying King George, he was exiled, so does that still count? By repeating the success of the Fourth Anglo-Afghan War, the king hopes to silence the conservative opposition and bring new lands to the crown. However, international experts do not put uh, many hopes on the tiny mountain nation winning the conflict. But who really cares about Afghanistan? So... That's going down over here. Is there a way to send a... I can't send volunteers. I can send three volunteer divisions to, uh, to Afghanistan. License production. I can send them, I can send them to either side. Uh, well... I'm, I'm, because these guys are in the Entente, I feel like sending them to Afghanistan would be the better better idea. So what I can do is grab three divisions and se send them off. Uh, I can send my tanks over. What's the terrain look like over there? I don't know if terrain actually matters in this game like it does in Hearts of Iron 3. Deserts and mountain. I'm thinking just some infantry. Let's just grab three divisions. And I'll give them our best commander. Which is Gerd von uh, Runstadt. That's what we're going to go with. And we're going to send some troops over to Afghanistan to fight. If I keep, I keep going over it though. Uh, nope, not Lend-Lease. Alright, send them over. And then what we're going to do is put this on highest priority. So new troops go there first. Troops are on the way. February 20th. Wow, they, they made it there real fast, I think. But, you know. It's 1936, not 1800. So travel can be by train, ship. Black Week comes to an end. Situation hardly improved in the days following Black Monday, which was the start of what became known as Black Week. Uh, panic selling of stocks reached an all-time high as people tried to dump their stocks before they became worthless. When the Berlin stock market closed at the end of the week, the market was as dead as the 11 major economic experts and top executives in Germany that had committed suicide. Wow. German government has to act. It must reform the economy. All right, electoral gr gridlock in France. So they're, France is communist? Syndicists. The Commune of France is the world's leading syndicist nation, united as a federation of city communes and directed by the Committee de la Salut Publique. The chief executive, uh, ever, uh, even since its inception, however, the second commune was not uniform in its policy. Numerous factions arose, each one with their own ideas on which prance, pr prance, 
path France, not France, that would be combining both those words, should take. As the time for revenge against Germany and the World Revolution closes in, the CGT election of 1936 is said to be very important. It is so important, in fact, that none of our four factions could acquire a majority. Much like before the election, a coalition must be found. But how will this change the shape of the commune's politics? Only men in the CSP itself know. Maybe we should uh, fortify the border? And how many? That's 22 divisions. Monstein. Oh, these guys. Oh, interesting. Do you, are you are you my bitch? Has following on subject states. Yep. Flanders, Wallonia, Lithuania. I didn't even realize that. All right, the AOG over in China. United Bolt, the Duchy. Yeah, they're just Crete. And white Russia. So those guys, so yeah. Th those are my puppets. Haha, -ha, bitches. I like how that creates its own thing. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I did not even realize that. So yeah, let's uh let's fortify this fucking border here. All right, so our divisions have arrived in Kabul. Oh, Afghanistan does not have very many men. I think the best place for us would be, like, down here, though. And then just give them, like, a small battle plan to do that. Oh, my. Afghanistan, what were you thinking? Hopefully these guys don't die. It's going to take a long time to get out of that hole without some uh, some some help here. But this is gonna get me a hundred. We gotta try to end all this black black shit. Black things are uh, the Black Monday. The black. I got the black lung pop. Got a couple squadrons out, which are nice. Nice to have, at least. Okay, Imperial restructuring. So that gave us 100 bucks. Aftermath of Black Monday. So, hmm, where do we want to go? This is the Eastern Promises. Daily political power gain. Ooh, manpower. I do all these, though, right? So that, that helped me get out of the, the hole there. Brand French organizations. Christian trade union. Embrace the Faud. Faud. Democracy in Prussia. Uh, I'm thinking... Oh, that's that's nice. Eastern promises is, is nice, but also political power and manpower, which will help my units over in Afghanistan. But I'm thinking aftermath of Black Black Monday kind of needs to get hit like right now. Let's move our men to the border. See if we can't help the situation. Uh, Canada looks like it's much more powerful than Afghanistan is. Come on, guys. It's not like you're walking across the, the Afghani desert or anything. Well, they don't have any equipment, though. That's that's interesting. First International Congress representatives from numerous syndicist and socialist nations have gathered in Paris today in what might be a defining moment in the history of the ideologies. The French Commune has invited numerous countries to the first official gathering of the members of the Third International to discuss political foreign matters and cooperate on spreading socialism further the french opened the international with a powerful parade festivities in paris and finally a speech by the chairman of the csp topics like spain the united states and the world economic crisis are at the top uh priority it's expected that france and britain will take initiative in this gathering what do the u.s look like they look fine is everything i mean some some states have been like amalgamated together La Plata and some over here Venezuela looks big 
United Provinces of America, Central America. That's uh, the you know, like United Caribbean nations. I hear that the like a civil war brews in the U.S. But again, don't know. And considering they have such so little equipment, the syndicate's first move. The Reds uh, are meaning to co cooperate their activities. They are definitely aiming against order. We have to establish in Europe following our victory in, in the Weltkrieg. Let's watch this meeting and analyze these results closely. Well, I did just put uh, 24 divisions on the border. All right, so why don't we try to f focus on what's going on in our expeditionary force for now. It looks like the uh, the sides are very interesting. India has way more troops, but just no equipment. And I think I'll be able to do good for a little while, but the fact that I don't have any, uh, re I, I don't have any reinforcements. Oh, look at that. German 33rd Infantry Division <laughs> sent to Afghanistan to fight the, the, the a Dominion of India? Yeah, that's it. Get him some, ex some combat experience. At least let him dig in and help for a while. So why don't we take a look at... Uh, so we want to do... Afghan Volunteers. So they lost... What is other? Attrition? So I've lost 20 men to their, like, 1,000. It's a good ratio. That was defensive. Uh, for now, they're sitting there uh, digging in and preparing. If I could, if I had manpower, ooh, aftermath of Black Monday. So, now I have a choice. Uh, bail out Junkers or liquidate unprofitable assets. So remove civilian fa um, two civilian factories. Now is this? This looks like it goes right past this one, so it looks like I can go around or straight down the middle. Bailout Junkers political power goes down, mutually exclusive with liquidate, and then replace black for, uh, black money with shashat uh, plan. National unity, production cap, output, uh, ooh, that's really nice. Approach Poland. They join the Federation, uh, okay. It's economic deal. Or we go down this way. Remove factory. Her population down. Resource to... Sale of Ceylon. Hmm. I don't want to lose... I think I want to go down this side. I think I'm going to bail out Junkers. That's the plan. French don't have too many troops on the border, so I'm not super worried about it. Alright, so we're under attack again. But that's fine. I mean, the more they attack me... France shows its true face. Reds are clearly set to spread their poison. They are cleanly shown during last session of the elections. We must prepare for anything. Gain 10,000 manpower. So the, this is set to priority. Right? This is set to... Okay. Wait. Why won't it save it? Is there a button I'm missing somewhere? So, settings. Do I do it like this? There we go. Okay, if you click on X, it, it does not save what you did. If you click re-click this button, it does. Okay. Well, that's 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 a really, really weird UI uh, doodle there. So, these guys should get the reinforcement. It'll, I, I'm sure it'll take a while, but they should get them. Financial troubles in the colonies. Rising inflation and consequently uh, debased Reichsmarks. 
It means that state expenses on German colonies have become too great to maintain pre-Black Monday tax codes. Some maverick politicians are proposing raising taxes, but raising taxes on German nationals just to aid German colonials uh, would obviously not be popular, especially not under the present economic situation. Most of the Reichstag merely proposes... Uh, limited financial support for our colonial possessions. What shall we do? Raise taxes to appease the need of the colonials. Spare expenses uh, only for colonials under direct control. Tighten our belts. We need to find other econ uh, sources of income. Tighten our belts. That's what we're gonna do. I don't know where. I don't know where these decisions are gonna lead me. So they are preparing for their assault. I just kind of want to get to the coast. Maybe take a port. Uh, chairman of the, the the Tuck. What's the Tuck? Trade Union Congress and the Union of Britain was made out uh, to be decisive. Longtime chairman of the Tuck, Philip Snowden, declared his resignation, causing the fourth major the four major factions in the Union. Uh, Marxists, autonomists, federal, uh, 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 federationists, I almost said federal national, nationalists, and, uh, congreg congreg congregation, uh, congregationists, god damn it, to butt heads over, uh, position. Let's see, new chairman, Nicholas Y. Glace. Okay. They're all different colors of, uh, like, sh very slightly different shades of red. I'm like, who's in charge here? That guy with the bitchin' hat. So the German colonies are suffering. Uh, it definitely looks like things are not going well over here. So I think what we need to do is launch our assault. So let's tell them to go. Ma Cleek declared war on Mongolia. These two guys. So I told them to go. Maybe they're waiting for the uh, the battle to end. Right. What's going on here, guys? There we go. They just uh, weren't being aggressive enough. Increasing activity of the suffragist movement. There have been rising activity of supporters of the women's suffrage. That is, those who want to grant women the right to vote and run for office. It is troubled times for the German Empire. It is not easy to choose the best solution. Granting them what they ask would anger the most conservative elements of our government, especially the members of the Reichstag currently elected by universal male suffrage. On the other hand, a stern refusal followed by reprisals may lead to riots and more protests. Cause worth supporting, promise, do, but do nothing. Uh, I think we're going to a cause worth. We got, we got to reform. We gotta, that's what we gotta do, is we gotta get some reform and reform going. Looks like our attacks are doing well, but faltering. Remilitarization of Olentia. Treaty of Bucharest of 1918 officially ended the Welt Creek for uh, Romania, but at a high cost, the nation was now dominated by German and Austrian industries. Valencia was demilitarized. Oil fields were leased to Germany uh, up to the distant year of 2012. So that's what's going on. That's where I was getting their uh, their oil from. So which state is this? This one right here. Valencia. Humiliation in Romania endured resulted in it uh, dev uh, devolving into a national populist dictatorship by the conductor Corneliu. Cordrano, Cordranu, Cordranu, and his Iron Guard set out to restore Romania uh, to what it say should have been a titan of the Balkans. First major move conducted by the condu, condu, con, conduct, condu, I'm just gonna say conductor. I, I'm not actually sure what that little guy right there means. That little dude right there. Remilitarization of strategic region of Wallachia. A large oil uh, is no more than Romania is walking into their own backyard. All right, so. Are they my friends? No, they're not my friends. King of the Ukraine is, though. So it looks like these attacks are pretty stalled out. 
Portuguese colonies in Africa. Ever since the end of the Velcro Creek, officials in Berlin and Dar es Salaam have had their designs about expansion. Uh, most of these plans involve annexation of Portuguese colonies in Africa, most notably Angola and Mozambique. I have no idea what... So that's got to be these areas. Deutsch Middle Africa. So German Middle Africa is, is what we're talking about here. True geopolitical uh, anomalies, foreign enclaves within a mighty and huge German colonial holding. Only the peace with honor accords, which preserves the colonial empires of the Entente powers after the Great War, have prevented the annexation of these territories during the 1920s and early 1930s. But Berlin officially abandoned these expansion plans and instead started to rebuild good relations with Portugal. The recent discovery of new major oil fields off the coast of Angola, however, has charged the whole changed the whole situation. With Germany. Currently, depending on oil supplies from Romania, Persia, Azerbaijan, having a steady source of petroleum within our colonial empire would be a true bliss for the German economy. Let's see. Brought us uh, to enter our attention, seeks our response. Trying to pursue the expansionist agenda, however, would ruin our relations with Portugal, which is one of the few stable anti syndicalist countries in Europe, can be a true ally in the coming war against the internationalists. Give them the green light. Portuguese colonies will remain untouched. Are there are no actual resources down here, or is it just not showing me anything? Or they haven't spawned yet, maybe. Hmm. Yep, go for it. Do it up. Do it. Is Purge on our side? Nah, Purge is not on my side. They're not on anybody's side. So these tacks are starting to falter. Oh my. Yeah, they just went right for it, didn't they? Well, let's see what happens. Herman Goering, interesting. He is the, like, governor, leader dude of uh, German Middle Africa. Downfall, instability. So, we have lost, uh, lost a stability point. Now, this is really, uh, we're almost out of organization. The Cretian question, with our economy in shambles after black money, our colonial empire has been under fairly harsh scrutiny. The main territory that has been under uh, examination is Crete. Crete is larger and harder to defend than Malta, and the upkeep is higher as well. To help with our uh, deficit, it was proposed that we essentially sell the land to either the Ottomans or the Greeks. I'm okay with selling it. Let's sell it to the Ottomans. I mean, they seem like cool people, cool dudes. Oh, and our first tech has popped off. So, let's see. Ready to detection, or do we want to pop in here? Say, um... Probably want to do... This stuff first. I think concentrated industry is better. Eh. There's our efficiency retention. I like efficiency retention. That's good stuff. Let's pop that on there. And, um... Let's go ahead and upgrade our... Our infantry support weapons there. Ottomans don't want it. All right, let's see if the Greeks want it. It's a wonderful island. It's great. So, uh, we should... Poland falls to syndicatism. After the complete collapse of the Polish government following the Black Monday disaster, Poland found itself in complete anarchy, with many different political factions vying for power in the vacuum of the Old Kingdom. This fighting has come, uh, come to a close today as syndicist forces claim victory, announcing they con uh, completely control the country 
from the chambers to the defunct Regency Council. The international community has reacted with shock. I'm shocked. As the formerly conservative government of the kingdom is replaced with a radical syndicate government seemingly overnight. Time will tell. A spine in the middle middle of Middle Europa. Uh, so Poland is a baddie now. Radical socialists. Let's uh, grab some units. Form up an army here. 23. I hate that it's 23. Let's take off that. Uh, create an army. Did I... What, what, the hell, what the fuck did I just do? How did, how did I manage to do that wrong? That's 35 divisions now? Ooh, veterans. Cool. Oh, I should have sent those guys over. How did I do that wrong? I have no idea what I did there. So you guys... There. You guys... There. Okay. That's all- that's all I need to do. And then I'll move on over. Guard Poland. Just make sure that those assholes don't bail out the Junkers estates. Alright, Junkers has been bailed out. So now we're gonna pop in... This. The next part of the, uh... Shot Shot shot. Shot shot plan. Major program aiming to encourage private invention, both in business and into consumer products. Be hard to achieve would uh, enable producers uh, to find a market for the products. Hopefully, restart the economy. Let's do it. And we're, we got to get that political power up, don't we? Sale of Crete. Great. So we sold Crete to Greece. And what we're going to do is we're going to take these guys and move them to Malta. Really? That's the, uh, the route you're taking? Oh, that's mine? Oh, I own this. Interesting. Very interesting indeed. Is this going to flip over? Cretan State. Okay. Oh, revolution in Siam. Let's, let's bippity bop over to Siam and see what's going on over here. Yesterday's successful revolution was achieved in Siam by a clique of officers and uh, intelligentistas who called themselves uh, Kana Rastadon, People's Party. The heir to the throne and chief of the police were placed under arrest, and the king, who was not in Bangkok when the coup was carried out, returned to the capital and accepted the uh, fate accompli. Present upheaval in Siam is evidently a political expression of the malaise produced by the pressure of the economic crisis as uh, they try to move themselves from absolute monarchy towards self-government. After securing a parliamentary constitution, uh, whether it the provisional government set up themselves with proposal or devolved into dictatorship is still up in the air. So Siam just had a revolution. It looks like everybody's just in chaos now. Hey, we made progress. We won that battle. Awesome. Oh. They signed a white piece. Alright, uh, war's over. Oh, we fought a couple battles. Uh, maybe got a little... We got seven land experience. <laughs> so we got a little bit. We definitely got a little bit. But what we need to do is kind of get ourselves out of this whole Germany's in. And then we can think about... Then we can think about punching someone. Look at the Kriegsmarine. It's huge, but out of date. I think conflict in Sri Lanka. Settled by uh, Sinhalese and Tamales. Oh, Arab Congress. Damn those nationalists. Lose 40 power. 
Egypt Arab Congress event in Cairo, where delegates of all Arab nations convened to discuss the situation and preservation of the Arab culture and identity. Unfortunately, this awkward, unwanted nationalism in our Arabic-speaking provinces. Lose 25. We should keep an eye on this issue. So we're just going to keep, keep plummeting, I think. All right, they're back. With slightly more experience. Arab Congress. The Arab revolt in the Weltkrieg was a failure, mostly due to the defeat of the Entente. The millions of Arabs living in the Levant and Iraq stayed under Ottoman rule. Despite this, however, Arab nationalism has been on the rise for many years and has finally culminated in the beginning of the Arab, uh, the beginning of the Arab Congress in Cairo. Our representatives from numerous Arabic nations were greeted with a spectacular performance by Egyptian dancers and an artillery salute. The negotiations began. Experts predict the Egyptian and uh, Hashemite Arabia, Arabia, will lead the Congress. Congress, uh, whether business bitterness towards the Ottomans and sometimes even discussions of a united Arab axis against the Turks can now flow freely. Interesting. I love that instead of like uh, working on the AI, the, the developers of Hoi 4 just drew lines on the ground just going, okay, you can't walk through here. Definitely need this. Def, 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 def. What does our uh, trade actually look like? Mm, good on everything with oil. I, I've said it before, I'll say it again. I absolutely fucking hate the trade system in Hearts of Iron 4. It is retarded. It is bad and it should feel bad. But uh, we made it to end of July, almost August of 1936. Gone through some events. We sold Crete to Greece, which is now a puppet, I believe. Mm-hmm. Very nice. But anyway, thank you for watching, everybody, and I will see you all next time.